Hello everyone. Welcome to oratinus.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we import a payable payment request in Oracle Fusion. Let us get into agenda. What are the available approach we have in Oracle Fusion to create the one-time payment request? And how do we perform the import using FBTI? The interface or a base table or error table details? And how do we validate whether what we have imported is available in the front end? And how do we purge the interface table, if at all, if we get into error? So what are the approaches available in Oracle Fusion for the purpose of OTP or one-time payment? First thing is you cannot create this particular one-time payment from the application. It is not allowed. And the option what we have is only FBDI. Using FBDI template, we can upload. And using REST service also, the option of creation is not available. Only get or update is available. Okay. So as of now, we just for creation purpose, only option to create the one-time payment request is FBDI. So let's start with FBDI approach. The first thing is how do we perform import? It's almost similar to other FBDI imports. So we'll again discuss in this same thing here. The first thing is you have to get the FBDI template. Once you get the FBDI template, you have to fill the data and generate the zip file. Once you generate the zip file, and if you have the third step, we have to load the data into the interface table using a ESS request called load interface file for import. In that, you have to para provide a parameter called import payable payment request, and you have to up mention the zip file which you have downloaded, like generated from the second step. Once the third step is successful, you can perform the fourth step, which will load the data from the interface tables to the base table. And here you have to select the request name as import payable payment request and make sure that you select the source as source for one-time payments. So these are the main four steps required when you want to perform the FBDI import. Okay. So as we discussed, the first step is get the appropriate FBDI template based on the version which you are working on. Okay. So this is an Excel SM file, Excel enabled macro file and the file name is payables payment request import template dot Excel SM. Okay. And once you get this particular file, just observe what data to be filled up. So here, if you observe the first sheet is an instruction sheet where you manage where it will have all the information like um, the documentation information. And the next one, next sheet you can observe here is AP payment request underscore INT. So this particular XLSM file is having only one particular data sheet to enter the data. OK, and once you fill up the data, what you can do is you just you have to fill up the data in the second sheet and go to the first instruction sheet and click on generate CSV file, which will generate the file a zip file inside that you'll have a csv file this is the second step once the second step is done the third step is you have to perform the load the data into the interface table you have to schedule a click on a schedule new process and you have to select the job called load file to interface sorry load interface file for import is the job you have to mention and you can observe here in the screenshot also the file the ESS job name is load interface file for import and you have to mention the import process name as import payables payment request and the data file you have to select the data file nothing but the zip file which you got from the second step once this is done once all the things are all these particular things are successful then you can go to the fourth step where you have to import the where you have to run one more import job called import payables payment request and in that you have to mention the appropriate options like a business unit ledger source source for one-time payments you have to mention and then you click on submit it will run further set of jobs and finally it will generate a report called import payables payment request report you can observe the output in that particular file it will have the information about successful information or error information based on that you can correct the data and you can perform further processing once the import is done what you can do is you can validate the error data or base table data or interface table data using the appropriate tables so as we have only one sheet the sheet name was ap payment request underscore int and interface table name is also same as what the sheet name and the error table is ap underscore interface underscore rejection and these are the base tables like uh, ap invoice table ap invoice sol which is for headers then lines and distribution and also one time party that will get stored in the headset parties okay now the next thing is how do we validate? Let us say you have uploaded your one-time payment inverse and you want to validate from the back front end also. From back end or nothing but from the database table, you can just check it out the AP invoice salt table. And if you want to validate from the front end also, what you can do is navigate to payables application and click on invoices. And in there, you click on the task list and select manage invoices and you just search, search for the invoices and you can get the data here. So in our case, this was the invoice number XXORA AP OTP 002. 
supplier name is Ramakrishna, the amount is 150, and you can also observe the details here, one-time payment lines we mentioned here. And also mention the invoice, check out the invoice type. It is payment request, okay? And this is how we can validate. And if at all, if you want to purge the data, let us say you have uploaded the data and it is getting errored out and you want to correct the data, then what you can do is just, first of all, there is no correction, correction option available within the application. Only option is you have to delete the inter data from the interface table and again, re-upload the updated data. That's how we can do it. Now let us check all the process from the UI, okay? So now, before going further, so now let us get the template. So this is our template. And now I'll go to the AP payment request sheet and I have data already mentioned, but I'll try to change the identifier. Let us say I'll mention it as 002. Okay, I'll mention the party name as Jairam and this one, XX. This you can ignore, yeah, better you can change this particular original system reference as well as this also just change it appropriately. Location reference address line and I'll just ignore all these things. I'll just change the invoice number and amount. Search the invoice number. Okay, so this is our invoice number. And you can observe here, there are a couple of very important properties which we have. Maybe I can just again uh, check it out once again. The first thing is in invoice identifier. Let us I'll mention it as this one and party name is Jairam, party original references, party type is organization. This is the like this is how the party will get created in the fusion. This is a, like original system reference, party type is organization, location reference, country, US, address lines, and the remaining can ignore. Just and party tax registration number. This also can ignore. Currency code, country code are mandatory, account number. Yep, you require. I'll just change it. And I ban. Account type is required for the bank. Bank name is required. Bank branch name, bank branch number. Okay, uh, this also I'll try to change it. Okay. Then business unit. And this is very important, one-time payment, the sources. And this is our invoice number and the invoice date, currency and description. This uh, line description as well as header description, sample OTP invoice data. And legal entity, payment terms, payment check, pay, payment method. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, here, line number and emote. Yeah, this is a very important thing again. Line description. Amount. That's it. So now we can click on instruction, generate CSV file. This process will generate the zip file now. I'll go to this folder. And I'll just try to generate here. Click on save. Click on save. Yeah. So now the CSV file got generated. Now go to the Fusion instance. Click on Tools. Navigator. Click on Tools. Schedule processes. load interface import let's check the name again Import payables payment request. Import payables. Payables payment request. Now select the zip file. AP payment request.zip. Click on OK. And click on submit. 231 is the job ID. Ending with 231. Just click on refresh. I can just I click on hierarchy. Okay, 
So there's one more job to be completed. This particular process is loading the data from the zip file into interface table, load file to interface. So it's done, yeah. Now click on schedule new process. Now, what is the next step? You have to run import payables payment request. Okay. Import payables payment request. Import payables payment request. Click on OK. OK. Now select the job as US1 business unit. It all depends upon the data how we prepared. So in our in our particular data file, we mentioned the BU as US1 business unit. So we have to select that. Ledger that will get selected automatically. Source for one-time payments. Now click on submit. This will take a couple of minutes because this step will actually create the party also. Just generally party creation itself will take one minute. So let's wait for that. So this step will further kick another jobs now. You can observe that. So this is calling another process now. I can just click on flat. Time being, we can check the data at the BI level also. So data is loaded into interface tables as of now, but base table, it is still in processing, right? So this is a invoice which we loaded into the interface table. As of now, it is not available in our base table yet. Let's wait for that. It's an interface table payment request interface invoice ID, load request ID. It's still running. Okay. And we can just check it out the other one as of now. So if at all, if you want to validate the invoice, which is already loaded, what we can do is navigate to payables, click on invoices and click on the task list. And here you click on manage invoices and you can just check out the invoice number at six percentile. Okay, yeah, this is a one XX or AP OTP 002. This is a one time payment request. You can see here the invoice type as payment request. This is what we have created. Click on this, and the supplier part is like a, this is how it got created, right? Let's we check it out in the back end again. It's not yet completed, so it's still taking time. Ideally, it should have finished by this time, but yeah. So sometimes based, based on system performance, it may take some time. Maybe if some other jobs are running, so obviously it will take some time, right? And if at all, if you want to purge the data, right, what we can do is you can just simply click on Purge Interface Tables. Here you have to mention import payables, import payables payment request, and you can select the request ID or you can mention the range of the job ID, and this will purge the data from the interface table. Okay, yeah, it's running now, so it's actually succeeded, and you can check it out from the back end first. Right, so 
So this is the one and maybe check the status. Okay, status, we don't have anything or maybe I'll check from the report itself. You can check it out if it all failed or it succeeded. It's still running. So it seems it got error because you can observe here, right? We have some issue in the error table, in the rejection table. So what we can do is, it mentioned the rejection type also. And just see here, bank account. It seems that like you can enter up to nine characters in the routing field. So we just need to correct this one and you have to reload again to correct it okay so this is how we can validate the payment report also and it, or you can check it out from the back end also the interface the error table okay so always try to refer to interface rejection table also because from the front end you know let us say if you're in work if you are uploading around thousand invoices and you know like reading a pdf file is a very difficult right so best thing is just try to get the data from the error table and validate them and update the data again and just re-upload you have to purge it before uploading so that so that you know like you can save your invoice number else you know it may give you the duplicate invoice number issue okay so this is all about one time payment request in order to fusion thank you